Okay. No we're slide. Stop now. So we're going to have a look at uh, shoulder instability. Uh, left shoulder is worse, but no history of injury at all. Is that right? So has it always moved to this extent? Always been this lax? Or uh, yeah, just... as far as I can remember, it's always popped out. Yeah. Right. And done whatever it wants to do really. Right. Does it come out during any activities? Or um, like only when free weight bench press. Right. It's the only time it's ever popped out. Okay. Um, apart from that, it's always been fairly stable. And no pain associated <laughs> with that no. incident or any other? Uh, it hurt a bit when it popped out whilst bench pressing, but right. apart from that, I've never had any okay. pain whilst doing any other okay. in, in, any exercise. Right. So. Okay. Do you want to show us how it, how it moves then? Right. So, there so obviously uh, moved quite drastically inferiorly, and what we're going to test or show is a sulcus sign test. Uh, which is it literally where we draw the humerus down and we'll be testing that way a bit later in the course. Um, with a positive result, that's exactly what you get. But we would normally have the client lying supine for that. Can you do it again? Do you want to pop that back in here? Yeah. Just, there you go. So it's also a good indication of what you would get uh, in a first aid scenario where somebody's either subluxed or dislocated and you get that squareness in the shoulder. Um, obviously coming from the acromion process because the head has travelled so far inferiorly. This one not so bad. Um, Still it, got a little it, bit. It does it a little bit. Yeah. But so it like. kind of subluxes anteriorly and inferiorly, doesn't Do it, it, by the look mm. of the way you move that. Yeah. Uh, it's nowhere near as bad. No. No. Are you right hand dominant or left? Right hand dominant. Right. Okay. That's that's my stronger arm anyway. Yeah. I lost one. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Now stop.